Being Kamal here and I welcome you all to the hands-on demo video of build 105.86.63 the latest Windows 10 mobile build that Microsoft has pushed to Windows insiders in the fast way. In this video we will not only uh, talk about uh, the build we will also talk about some of the common bugs and issues uh, that we have faced with this build and we will also share our impressions about uh, <clears throat> the use uh, I mean the eligibility of this build as a daily driver. So uh, <clears throat> first we'll see the build on a Lumia 525 that I have in my hand and then uh, on a Lumia 640 XL. Uh, so starting with Lumia 525, uh, we can say that the build is pretty solid, quite stable actually. We did not face many issues of uh, crashes, etc. In our case, on both of these devices, the build does not crash either. We have not seen random reboots as well. And it behaves quite consistently. So when we say consistently, uh, we see a consistent uh, performance across the OS. So either it is app list or uh, start screen or even the action center you see. Uh, I mean, it's quite good. Uh, we have, uh, I mean, kind of heard many complaints and seen feedback from people who say that the action center is not that consistent in terms of experience. But for us, it has been good. Even last build, it was fine for us. The action center opens, closes, etc. I mean, it works fine. We go to all settings and we can see that even the <coughs> settings, I mean, it's quite good opening and we can go to any of the settings and it works pretty well, quite smoothly. We'll check the multitasking part now. So here is Cortana. Let's send the Cortana to background. We'll open store. So now let's see how the multitasking works. So this is quite good actually. You don't see any uh, like res I mean kind of resuming or I mean loading etc. So that's a pretty good thing. I mean getting rid of that because that was a dreaded thing, getting the resuming screen or the loading screen. So that does not happen with this build. Uh, and uh, we are talking about a Lumia 525 here. So though it has a 1 GB RAM, so but still uh, we believe that, uh, I mean, Windows 10 Mobile works fine uh, on a, such a old processor and uh, 1 GB RAM. So it's good. Further, we can just see how the browser works. Microsoft Edge uh, has not got such, you know, raving reviews. Let's send uh, this to background too and when we check back and we can again see whether still we have any issue with any of the apps and no it's quite good so you can see that how the I mean the build uh, performs considerably considerably good on Lumia 525 now talking about the bugs and issues so uh, one of the bugs that we have faced is with the Outlook mail actually so the mail application uh, sometimes I mean maybe like uh, once in a once uh, every three day or something like that it gives you some kind of uh, error that it is uh, that your mail account is not I mean it's in error or something so that is something that Microsoft needs to fix at a server level apart from that uh, sometimes if you're using SD card then uh, one or two of your apps can crash or they can just say that no not available but apart from that, the build has been pretty solid on Lumia 525 and you can see that it is being used as a daily driver on this device. So pretty good. The uh, battery life we will talk about, it has been quite good actually, uh, very much comparable to any of the uh, builds, even the Windows Phone 8.1 uh, builds. Pretty good. I mean, the battery life was good even on the last build that we have uh, reviewed and it's uh, as good on this device now. Okay, so now we talk about Lumia 640XL. <clears throat> So as you can understand that if, uh, I mean it's easy to guess that if the build works so well on Lumia 525, it will be quite good on uh, Lumia 640XL. 
but we will just see it so yes i mean the build is quite stable it works quite good We'll see the multitasking part. So it's quite good actually. Uh, you don't see any again resuming screen or uh, any other kind of uh, loading delay etc so it's quite fast and again the same kind of experience uh, in terms of uh, I mean if you talk about the issue that we uh, saw like Outlook Mail so other, apart from that issue uh, we have not even faced the issue of any uh, I mean SD card apps uh, with the SD card apps that we talked about on Lumia 525 surprisingly on Lumia 525 we have sometimes faced the issue with the apps on the SD card but uh, on whole Lumia 640 Excel it's pretty good very fast actually so maybe uh, something to be uh, done with the processor or something else but uh, apart from that I mean if you talk about the builds consistency I mean the across homogeneity of experience the consistency of experience across those it's pretty there it's pretty good actually so uh, you can follow our tutorials if you are facing any issue with any of the you know uh, any of the experiences or any of the uh, actions that you do on the OS because uh, we think that if we you uh, do a I mean you are facing lots of issues with this build you can try for a hard reset and actually after a hard reset uh, if you use this build it becomes very very smooth we have not done a hard reset on either of the devices but still it is quite good but uh, we will obviously tell you that uh, before i mean before the this build and before the build uh, 0.29 i think the build was 0.29 before this and uh, before that build we have done a hard reset and last two builds we did not do but still the experience is very consistent for us so apart from those two one or two minor bugs and wine bugs it has worked pretty pretty uh, well and it has been quite solid as a daily driver for us so we recommend uh, to go and install this build if you are on a fast ring if you are not done it so with that uh, we come to end of this a uh, video review of the build 10586.63 thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more <clears throat>